everyone welcome to my channel and today i'm gonna be talking about freud and dreams so it's a really different video and uh, yeah i'm actually quite excited because i would love to uh, read about uh, uh, freud explanations of dreams and uh, freud related stuff so yes if you're interested then keep watching so you might not know but uh, freud's fame actually started relatively late so only in his uh, mid 40s uh, he published uh, his uh, book the interpretation of dreams which, which is his uh, the most famous uh, book and only i think at, at the start they only sold like six, 600 copies and then only in 10 years later that's when the book became really famous so in this book included uh, many dreams that he analyzed of his patients but he've also included many of his own dreams and this is the book where he introduced the science of the unconscious mind so before freud dreams they were explained in maybe very spiritual way um, or maybe they were explained through some demons but also there was an approach of sensory excitation so for example when sleeping if someone would hear a certain noise or maybe would smell something this smell and the noise would be incorporated into the dream so that the person could make a sense of what they're hearing or or of what they smelling so for example if someone would have a dream that maybe they are naked that would be explained by the fact that perhaps a person was sleeping and the blanket fell off them or maybe when someone will say that they had a dream where maybe they were flying, that would be explained by the, the lung movement. So the, the lungs that are moving and someone is just feeling as they being elevated. However, Freud, he didn't believe that the sensory excitation can actually give a full explanation to dreams. And his actual journey with um, analyzing dreams started when he started working with the people who suffer from psychosis. And he actually, he thought that dreams, it seems like another layer of symptoms that can be actually analyzed. And at the point when he was writing his book, he have already analyzed over a thousand dreams. Based on his uh, dream analysis, he concluded that most of the images that we see in dreams actually comes from uh, what we come across in our um, past recent few days. And normally they're going to be things that uh, our conscious mind uh, missed. But he also agreed that in dreams we can see uh, some memories from our very early childhood. He also, he believed that uh, uh, dreams, they don't focus on major events as our conscious mind does. But on the other hand, in dreams, uh, we can see very small trivial elements that uh, normally our conscious mind uh, will not pick up on. So although he said that dreams, they seem very chaotic, very maybe irrational, uh, they uh, it only can become coherent when we start analyzing it and the dreams are always about self and he also believed that dreams have actually layers of meaning so for example a familiar person in our life can become someone completely different in our dream so maybe our mom or dad they're gonna become some celebrity in a dream or maybe the house uh, will take a completely different purpose than what it actually means to us in the real life. And he also believed that uh, most of our dreams, they're actually revealing uh, our uh, motives and our desires that are being repressed by conscious mind. Uh, and also Freud, he believed that all these little elements um, that the brain is using from maybe the past few days um, to create the dream that uh, initially seems very incoherent is actually a cheap material to convey a, a very deep, meaningful message to us. Freud, he believed that many of our desires, wishes, motivations are being ac actually repressed and they cannot reach a consciousness uh, uh, in its original form. So they come through the dreams. So it is actually as if they were under camouflage. And Freud, he actually named it as a, a dream distortion. So if we think of an example of maybe a country which is under occupation, and then we have the poets and writers uh, who actually are really um, unhappy about the situation and they want to express how they feel and what they think. But obviously, if they would do it directly, they will be maybe put in a prison or maybe they will be killed. So what they do, they just write in indirectly. So many of the literature that we studied at Soko, and sometimes it's very difficult to understand the actual meaning, uh, what, what's behind the words, what's hidden behind the words. 
and uh, yes, I think something very similar is happening with dreams. So dreams, they need to convey the message so that it passes through almost the, the censorship of conscious mind. And also he said that one of the reasons as well why we forget our dreams so easily, it is so that our conscious mind doesn't become over powered by the unconscious mind. And I think what Freud he created is the science that made psychology really exciting and really interesting. So yes, if, if you enjoyed this video, then please like it, subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, any questions regarding this video, then please leave them in the section below. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.